Hello Tubers, um, Sweet Gaming John here, um, back with another video with uh, some pickups from uh, a lot of different places. Uh, went to Boot again, um, second hand shop, went back to that store that was closing down here in the city. And uh, I wasn't supposed to go there, but a guy bought my uh, completing box. Uh, um, smoke see-through N64 so he came here and picked it up that's good I hate fucking sending big things so and they were going there afterwards and so I jumped on my scooter and uh, you know they drive up behind me so they could find the place so I was there again and uh, yeah I'm gonna see if the music's probably too high some Af Afex twin if can never be bad um, so I went, yeah, when I was there I was like, ah, oh, fuck, go in. I find a couple of things small, really, really fucking cheap, so that was good. So, yeah, I got a lot of movies as well. So let's start with the movies or TV series. Uh, 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 this is, uh, I've never seen this, and I'm a sci-fi nerd, definitely, uh, especially TV series. Never seen this, and uh, this is a mint, mint fucking copy of it. I'm definitely gonna watch this very soon. It's uh, Buck Rogers uh, in the 25th century. Of course, I've heard about it, but I've never seen it. So it's uh, the whole um, series. So any any of you guys uh, seen this one? You know, you can tell me what you think about it. It'll be fun. And uh, yeah, I recognize uh, a couple of the actors in it, and uh, yeah. This be fun. So I didn't IMDB it yet, so <laughs> probably low scores and shit. But uh, I definitely like those older ones. Uh, then I bought two Swedish movies that I'm suggesting you guys watch because normally Swedish movies uh, stay in the country or stay in Scandinavia, Scandinavian countries uh, due to uh, the Norwegians understand our language and the Danish, they understand us as well even though we don't fucking understand the Danish that's kinda of weird uh, for us the Danish sounds like they're fucking eating porridge and talking at the same time and the Norwegians, they sound fucking like they're singing and happy all the time but yeah, they understand us Finland, we don't understand shit, totally different language totally different language, and Icelandic it is the the you know history base of all of our languages, but we don't. I don't understand shit of Icelandic, but they understand us. Uh, but sometimes they go abroad as well, of course. Uh, and these are two that went abroad, uh, but I, I'm pretty sure you guys missed it. So definitely, you know, download this game, this um, this movie. It is fucking excellent. It's it's about teenagers around 15, 16 living in a shitty fucking uh, village out in nowhere in Sweden in Åmål it's called and the movie is called in Swedish uh, fucking Åmål but when I went abroad <laughs> you know they changed it I don't know you can have fucking in a in a movie title maybe in some countries I think that is kind of weird though what the fuck uh, so I think this is called Show Me Love in the rest of the world and it's out there with subtitles, go and watch it um, fucking awesome movie uh, one of my favorite Swedish movies of all time um, yeah Sweden's not just, you know, um, Ingmar Bergman there's <laughs> a lot of other good movies and the same guy also made this one it's Till Summons, but in English it's called uh, Together. Definitely find this movie as well, Together. It is out of this world. It's about the 60s, 70s, uh, other 70s. Uh, uh, it's a big thing in Sweden with, you know, hippies and, uh, you know, being very left, uh, you know, living together, big collectives. Uh, it's very, very, this is, uh, that one there, it's not. It's a drama, pretty sad one. But this one is funny as fuck. But it's a drama, not like a comedy comedy. Get this one together. 
Lucas Morrison has made this one as well as fucking normal. Fucking hell. That was five minutes just two fucking movies. Sorry about that. Uh, what another Clint Eastwood movie? Uh, the Unforgiven. This uh, Clint Eastwood's collection movies. These are all I bought for all the movies. Five pounds for like seven movies, I think. I like the first one of this, uh, but if I got the trilogy for like 50p, you know, Jurassic Park uh, with three discs, the trilogy. Another one of my favorite uh, Clint uh, movies, uh, Pale Rider. So I'm back fucking buying DVDs again. It's really weird, but I kind of like it. And it's very fucking cheap to buy DVDs, so. Uh, and one of my favorite um, comedies. Absolutely one of my favorites. Log Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Uh, out of this world, good movie, I think. Uh, and you will see. Not the sequel to this one, but the second one he made. After this one, I got that one as well. It's coming. The next one. Uh, this is my top. It's, it, this movie is in my top five movies ever. Um, you know, any movies. Uh, I've seen this movie maybe 20, 30 times. I don't know what's why it's you know clinged on to me this this much this movie and why it's why I love it so much. I don't know really. People ask me this sometimes, you know. But sideways. If you haven't seen Sideways. Who are you, man? You know, beam up. Back to the spaceship, please. Get sideways. It's out of this world. It's a drama with a slightly comedy. Like a dark comedy drama. Something. Ah, fucking hell. Watch it. Good fucking actors in this one as well. Uh, you know, Paul Giamatti. Fucking good. And since I Let's see if we got some more music, should we stay with Afix Twin? No. Um. So see here. Some uh, it and my computer. French guy. Since I got this um, the other week, uh, I went to the booter and got the the second two. This one I had before, sold off. So I got them back. It's the, you know the, the extended versions, uh, special edition. I got the three now set. And I, I'm one of you who haven't seen Bilbo yet, but I heard it's not as good as these. So and. Uh, PSP movie as well, uh, Snatch. So yeah, log stock into smoky barrels and Snatch. Snatch is fucking awesome as well. Um, that is great. Brad Pitt did a really funny character in that one, I think. Then we've got some uh, toys, not toys. I think they're collectibles. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's a kid's uh, show I used to watch um, when I um, you know, grew up, uh, one of my favorites, Sesame Street, and uh, I really liked Ernie and Bert, and so I found this one, Bert, I think this is Bert, the other, the other one with the you know thin head, he's uh, Ernie, I think, yeah, uh, so I got the uh, Bert, this is a guy that collected uh, rubber ducks, and was swimming with it in his bathtub, if I remember right. So I got that one. It's something you can wind up, it doesn't work. I didn't give a fuck. It was like 50p and uh, I had to have it. This is my Shiloh, for fuck's sake. That's worth 50p. Then I got this for £2 and I think it's fucking awesome for £2. I like Batman. Look at this bad boy. Oh, you know, I when I bought it, it was not in this shape though. It's really dirty and disgusting. Uh, I dishwashed it. I uh, goo gone, gone it, and then I uh, put on teak 
oil on it. So that's, you can do that with toys, yes. So it looks fucking awesome. And you can also push it here to open up. I don't think it's not complete though. There should be a motorcycle in there, I think. And a Batman as well, but it's not. So two pumps. I buy that. I thought first when I bought it, I'm gonna give it to my nephew, but then I'm like, fucking hell, I'm keeping that. Let's go down the wall. Uh, come to the movies. Uh, the, the games, I mean. I got the Castlevania game. Uh, what is this one? Is? Oh, fucking hell, the phone. Hold on. Erasmus? Hey? Hold on. Okay. Imoron. Okay. Okay. Uff, jag trodde jag tror du skulle sätta så jobba idag. Det här är fan inte. Nej, nej, det börjar råda. Okej. Okay. Ja, men det är bra. Det är bra. Det är inget. Gör inte mig någonting. Nej, jag ska bara... Fy... Ja. Ja, så fick jag komma ihåg det bara så att du kommer in tidigt imorgon. Ja, men det är bra. Det är bra det är inte Det är bra att du ringer. Tack, ta tack så bra. Hej, hej. Sorry about that. Uh, it was work, so otherwise I wouldn't have taken it. Uh, but I have to come in later tomorrow at work, so that's good. So sorry about that. I can't cut my videos. As you know, I upload from the camera, you know, straight to the YouTube because I... My piece is broken up, so yeah, whatever. Castlevania. Uh, this is a Japanese PlayStation 2 version, so uh, I hope I can play this one. It's not too much text in it. So anybody play this to let me know, but I, I've seen the gameplay. It looks like an awesome 3D uh, Castlevania. Uh, that was four, four, four pounds for that one. This one was also four pounds from the same guy. Uh, Raiden Project, PlayStation One, uh, Japanese one, awesome shooter. I'm really happy with that for four pounds. Uh, this one I got really cheap, but it's probably because the NTSC American ones. Yeah, nobody wanted it, so I bought one I didn't have. Final Fantasy Anthology. Uh, that's uh, four and six. Uh, five and six. I mean, I didn't have five before. Maybe on. Yeah, I had it on uh, Game Boy Advance though. Uh, I had six on PlayStation One before, but I didn't have this one. And as you know, I collect Final Fantasy, so that's in the collection now. Uh, some more music. Uh, yeah, that was that. Uh, then I the the, the most expensive uh, purchase uh, in the last two weeks. Uh, I paid uh, thirty pounds for this one. Uh, no, I paid thirty-five pounds for these two. Um, I think yeah yeah. Uh, I really wanted this game for a long time, uh, and uh, for around thirty, maybe five for the other. Uh, that's a good deal, I think. Sky of Arcadia, on the Dreamcast. I heard this uh, RPG is really good. Uh, never played it. Haven't looked any gameplays lately, but if I remember the right. Back in you know years ago when I looked at it, it looked awesome. People always talk about this game as well. So Skies of Arcadia, yeah. And with that deal, I also got the Jet Set Radio. It's like a must-have for the for the uh, Dreamcast. Uh, played this a lot before. I like it. It's called something else in the states. I don't know some corny name, but here it's Jet Set Radio in Europe. Uh, then I. You know, both the wrong game again, it happens. Um, maybe I keep this, I don't know. It's one of those uh, gun games. Uh, you know, to the earth. It's fucking mint, 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 mint. And uh, yeah, it was five pounds at the second hand store, but yeah, I could sell it for 10 if I want, but I'm gonna try it out. 
otherwise it's go for trade. I trade a lot of stuff on Facebook nowadays. Facebook, because this is a Facebook uh, thingy. Got a yellow um, Game Boy, uh, original. Uh, nice, fucking nice shape. Uh, with the Batman game. And that Batman game is fucking awesome. I never played that before. Uh, great fucking game. Uh, get this Batman. Uh, the video game for the Game Boy. Awesome, awesome. Side scrolling shooter, beat em up. Uh, or shooter more. Um, jumping and shit, but this it was one I wanted, you know, the yellow one. So, now I need the red and the black, kind of see-through, then I'm uh, all done. Uh, yeah, this is another thing I collect, I want all the Game Boys. But then it's not expensive Game Boys, so... And then I bought two games I already had, because my memory is like a... Goldfish, I told you this guy, I told you this uh, before. Uh, this one I thought I had a special edition of, and I didn't have this one, but I had this one. Uh, and mine I had is in better shape, so this one is, I'm gonna trade this one. I fucking hate when that happens. This one I was sure I didn't have, Ratchet and Clank 3, but I had it. Weird, I didn't remember that. So, I gotta go. Then I bought one of my the funniest movies ever made, I think. And made by uh, Stephen Crow Show, uh, Kung Fu Hustle. Ah, oh, it's awesome. Uh, and people, when you watch this movie, don't watch it dubbed, English dubbed. Watch it in, uh, you know, uh, Chinese and uh, with subtitles. It makes it so much better. And uh, you know, dubbing. I think it's retard that some countries use dubbing on the TV. Uh, you know, that's that's why uh, you know Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, Holland, all these countries they speak really good English because their governments decided you know we're not gonna dub TV. We're gonna have all the original languages with subtitles. So you know, you know, compare us Swedes with the Germans, uh, how good our English skills are, you know, it's because of that, I promise you, because they go to school as much as we do and uh, they start learning English uh, in school uh, at the same time as we do, so then I, yeah, went to that uh, store that's closing down, I found two more PlayStation 3 games, one, uh, I don't know, Dungeon Seed 3, uh, would I buy this, because it's Square Enix, and it was uh, two pounds fifty. So yeah, you see, I don't know. It's the third one, so <laughs> obviously I haven't played the two two first ones. Looks like a action RPG or something like that. And then it was a uh, this is still sealed uh, Capcom game, uh, Dark Void. It was only two pounds, uh, so I couldn't pass on it. It looks like it's uh, air battle and you know on the ground battle kind of shooter, first person shooter. I don't like those, so hope it's third person shooters. So yeah, that was the acquisitions, uh, and I used the rules of acquisitions to get these uh, objects. Of course, you know, me and Quark, uh, we always do that, and. Uh, yeah, and also uh, I would like to uh, do a shout out to all the Brits on YouTube, you know. I heard that you all go into uh, what is called replay in Manchester in like 40 days. And uh, yeah, tell me if you go in and uh, if you're gonna, you know, what you're gonna do and are you gonna hang with tubers and stuff like that. And uh, if you go and you know, I hope you're fucking filming a lot um, because I want to see this epic meetup. Because if I heard right, there will be like 20, 30 tubers meeting up uh, in Manchester, and that is out of this world cool. Uh, I just came back for, from a month of vacation, so obviously I cannot go. It's not too far for me, you know. Uh, you know in an hour of hour flight only but yeah I just came back so 
what I wanted to say to all the Brits, have a good time, you know, say hi to everybody for me and, uh, you know, enjoy it. I think the meetup is going to be cooler than the, the con, actually. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, have a pint for me or five pints for me as well. Have a good one. And, yeah, be nice.